Happy National Fortune Cookie Day! To celebrate, I wanted to share with you that there are various paper fortune cookie how-tos on YouTube. And um, I'll try to explain one here for you because I don't feel like cooking today. Do you? If you do, send me some comments in the comment section below and I'll send you a recipe on our Riddle Me Den Den night. But for today, there are some very beautiful origami paper art and soft blues and soft violets and tiny dots or tiny flower patterns that really end up looking very feminine, very pretty uh, for paper fortune cookies. And I found some from a Red Ted blog. So please have a look at Red Ted on YouTube um, if you need to see a visual demonstration. So let's give this a try. You can even search the internet for traditional quotes if you don't want to make up your own fortunes or riddles to give away to friends, neighbors, family, and spread the joy. So let's collect some pretty paper or even use up the gift wrap that's sitting around in your house. Get a circular cereal or soup bowl and place it upside down on the back of your paper, tracing out circles and cutting them out. And then take the extra paper to cut strips to write your messages on. Now, fold your circle in half so the decorated side is on the outside and glue just the top arc closed, leaving about an inch on each side where the fold part is so that you can put your message in. And write your message up and pop it in. <laughs> so it's gonna kind of look like a taco shell that's been sealed over the top. And now, decide if you want your message peeping out a little bit or if you want it fully hidden inside. Then, with one hand, you're gonna hold the glued arc edge with your fingers and hold it still. And then with your other hand, place one finger at the center of the fold over side and poke it inward toward the other hand like you would poke the belly button of the Pillsbury Doughboy. And <laughs> keep poking until the paper bends onto itself around that pokey finger. So the arched glued edge stays smooth and round and the inner side will kind of make a natural fold over itself a bit so that it can bend and that's okay. And it should happen just on one side, and that's the side you put down on the plate. Um, and the other side, the top side, will look very smooth. Now, once it's bent into the fortune cookie shape, you're gonna reposition your message paper if it popped out too much. And then get that hot glue gun and put a little bit of glue on the inside where it folds over onto itself and keep holding the fortune cookie shape shut until the glue's had a minute or two to seal. Now, once you let go, if it pops open a bit, you're gonna have to put more glue, hold it for a little longer, um, so that if it doesn't work the first time, it'll work the second time. And you'll have to hold it in position to give it the time to dry in shape, okay? Now, if you want them to look more like authentic fortune cookies, please use a plain, soft, um, ochre yellow or soft brown paper, a beigey kind of paper, um, for the more authentic look. Now. These could be used to send out in batches to spread the joy, spread some fun, go visit people, bring them some good fortune, bring them some funny jokes. But if you wanna get everybody together to celebrate Fortune Cookie Day, then you could put truth or dare actions and questions inside these cards as a big batch and play a game of truth or dare together. But be kind and have fun. Good fortune to you all. Happy National Fortune Cookie Day.